had of course been part of the ACT Party for very long, ACT has actually achieved several things which are quite noticeable. And I guess the most obvious thing is that thanks to ACT, there is a centre-right government. I mean, it, we, we tend to assume that National won the 08 election in a canter and that it was a, it was a, it was a total victory for the National Party. I mean, if Rodney Hyde had not won the seat of Epsom, and if, Rod, if Winston Peters had got only 1% more of the vote, Helen Clark would be Prime Minister now. So that was the first thing the ACT Party achieved. They actually made possible, in part with Winston's help, uh, negative help if you like, uh, a centre-right government. I think secondly, there are a number of things which we have achieved as a party. And the one which I particularly am enthusiastic about is we pushed the National Party to make a probationary period of 90 days in new employment contracts possible for all employers. Initially, National got in and said, look, employers uh, with fewer than 20 employees are allowed to give their employees uh, a 90-day probationary period, allowed to hire new employees for the 90-day probationary period. The National Party then said, halfway through its term, look, we'd like to extend that to employers with 50 employees uh, or, or fewer. And ACT said to the National Party, for crying out loud, your own manifesto in 2008 talked about a probationary period for all employers. Employers with no matter how many, how many employees.